Welcome to our video on creating air export shipments in Magaya. The software helps you create different types of shipments, but today we have a straight shipment. Let's define that. For freight forwarders, that means the collect charges will be handled by the carrier for you. No destination agent is involved. Hi, I'm George from Magaya. Let's jump into the steps to get your shipment and air waybill ready. We've got one master and one house for one customer going to one place, from New York to Frankfurt, Germany. You can create shipments in different ways, such as from a quote, depending on your workflow. Today, we're using the wizard. Click Air, Straight Shipment Wizard, Export. First, enter general information, such as the carrier Lufthansa Cargo. Enter the air waybill number or select it. The software will fill the air waybill document with this information for you. No need to type it. Some fields are filled in for you, but you can change them. Enter the declared value for carriage and for US Customs. The description of the goods is optional. Click here for clauses. Click the Next button. On the Entity screen, select the shipper and consignee. Your company name will fill into the forwarding agent field automatically. Since no destination agent is involved and the air carrier will handle the collect charges for you, leave the destination agent field blank. The client to bill will be filled in automatically based on the information you entered. On the routing screen, the service type defaults to port to port, but you can change it. The mode is air for this shipment. Enter the flight number. Set the departure and arrival details. Later, you can edit actual departure time if needed. Select documents for the shipment, such as the air waybill. You can add others later. Next, select the cargo to ship. Choose the cargo from a transaction or location. You can also skip this screen and add cargo later. Next is the repack option. You can skip it or repack items inside a container, such as these air containers in the list. You can also define your own containers. Select a folder to save everything. Review the summary and click finish. All the data is saved in the air waybill for you. Take a look at the document. Did you know terms and conditions can be added to the back? See the knowledge base or call support. You can edit these screens. For example, on the general tab, click settings for the air waybill details to display and the weight units. Click actual dates to revise these if needed. On the routing screen, see the information you entered in the wizard. Add charges such as documentation fees, the carrier fees, handling, and more. Let's open the air freight service income and see the options such as prepaid or collect and how to apply the charge. See the chargeable weight highlighted here? Chargeable weight is determined by comparing the gross weight and the volume weight. The larger weight is the chargeable weight. Learn more about this in our knowledge base. Since the carrier collected the charges for you, the liquidation will show what amount is owed to you and the profit. You can print the airway bill or send it electronically. Click the Actions button and select the e-airway bill menu. Want this option? Call us. Let's see how the wizard organized the folders for you. Check out the shipment folders on the left. Right-click a folder or document for options. Need to add another document? No problem. Click here. You can send the EEI to US Customs, get cargo insurance, verify the packing list, and more. Want to notify your customer that the shipment transaction is ready? Every detail is available in LiveTrack web, the app, or by email, and notifications can be automated. As you can see, there's a lot of flexibility and time savings from automated features. Be sure to check out our other videos, such as the shipment list, and see the knowledge base for step-by-step -step articles to help you use the software fully. Thank you for watching.